just got my board wet. I'm a bit disappointed. I think they got too wet. Oh, it's hella nasty. Definitely went over some kind of like berry. So I had another idea like two days ago for another little blender project I could do. Um, blender being the free 3D animation software, which you can use for like literally anything. I realized I could make like a video, almost like documentary style of just what what goes on behind making just a little a little piece, I guess as I would call it. I don't know. Project. I think project is the best word. So, I mean, this is kind of related to what I was doing. For me, it was yesterday. Um, this video is gonna. It's gonna be, it's gonna take longer to make. It's gonna span multiple days because I'm gonna work on this today and then probably drop it for like a week. Um, I'm kind of disappointed with how some of that came out, especially my, the track and the masking out. Ugh, it was it was horrible. The way I was tracking was using a thing called April Tools. Oh, uh, excuse me. Oh, wait, hold on, I gotta go down this. thing called April Tools that I found from a CG Matter video um, where, where he goes over it. Essentially you print out like a little tag and you can like put it up somewhere and it just it's, it's a faster way of tracking. I don't know if it's better. I think best is you do it yourself hand tracking. I figured I think it'd be cool just as an idea to go up to like a wall you know and then put like a, a fake a little CG throw up you know like graffiti and stuff. Um, but without the vandalism, pretty much. And it's like, cool art, but with a little bit of respect. So that's where I'm going right now. And hopefully, I mean, this is, it's kind of early. It's like six in the morning. Um, cause, cause I like it when there's no people out here. So, but we'll see if there's no people here right now. Let's see if I can use this wall. That, that, am I recording right now? That's the wall. I think the lighting is wrong for what I want to do. It's, it's just too early. Um, I also want to try tracking without the tag um, to see, like, maybe I can get that to work better um, because I didn't even try that with the bubble wrap thing. Um, oh, check it out, it's birds. I think they're too small to show up on video, but. Yeah, this camera is kind of jank. I love it. Um, maybe I'll talk about it. Oh, I definitely will talk about it when we're messing with the footage. I just realized I was pointing this like the wrong way. The sun is over there. I mean, we can just pass by. Um, I really hope the wind didn't make this sound awful. I didn't think about this. I didn't think this through. So 
to 6.30. Hold up. It's like 6.13 right now. Hopefully that means no one shows up. There's like lights on though. It's kind of sketch, not gonna lie. Should be good. I'm gonna be mad if this whole time the audio wasn't recording. I just, I, <laughs> I probably just teleported right now because I wasn't recording. There was scary noises coming from the building. As in, there was like someone in there and I was like, oh shoot, they're in here, like me. So we can't go all the way in to over there, but we can use this wall that's right here. It's just not, not as good. I think I have the camera way too close. Now I think about it, oh God. It's all gonna be awful footage, isn't it? So I can't tell on the preview. I can't tell how well the whole thing is lit. If you can see the, these lines from far away. Um, I'm gonna take this as a separate clip. I'm gonna pull out the tag I brought. It's this thing. See if I can do this with one hand. Okay, I can. There's some more stuff I didn't think through. I put tape on the page to bring tape with me. And it kind of messed up the tag a bit. But it shouldn't matter too much, I hope. I got what I wanted. I'll just do one more without the tag. They were good to go, but I might just wait a bit. Um, Cause it's kind of nice out here, you know? That's the wrong way. There's the sun. Kind of a funny thing that I'm even doing these videos because I mean I'm someone who really likes being alone <laughs> as weird as it sounds um, it's just awesome I mean look I love just vibing out here that's what I do it's 6 30 now and there's people out here Letting this car pass by. Looks like they work here. Yeah. I'm just gonna go out that way, but without the camera. I just got back and this is super interesting. Hopefully, uh, it might be too dark. There's straight up just a cat, like in my garage. Here we go. He's looking at it. Let's walk around under him. Try to get him out. I think I know since when he's been up there. Oh, let's try to get higher. I don't know if you can see him. There he is. Check this out. He's just up there. He's pretty, he's got, I think he's got a collar. Someone's cat ran away. That's kind of sad. Let's go down. Hold up. Maybe he can't get down anymore. No. I think he jumped down pretty far. There. Yo. That's kind of sad. He's kind of cool. Before I leave the garage, though, I do want to give a shout out to this red bike right here. 
old trusties. Been through a lot of stuff with that bike and the mess with all these other bikes, but old trusty. All right, so here I'm just in the back home at the computer. It is now, yeah, it's now the 17th. But essentially what we have here, this is, this is what we got. We have three videos of no tag on the wall, three videos with these. We're gonna start with these. Although if we, if we look at one, um, you'll notice I have like, it's super distorted because the camera I use, it's a little, um, it's a little action camera. And I mean, I'm, I'm leaving the more vloggy parts of the video like this, but I want this, the video that we're working, what we're trying to make here, I want it to be not distorted. So that's the first thing we're going to do. Okay, whatever. So we're just going to go into Blender. We're going to start um, VFX. No. Yes. I don't think it matters. I was gonna put video editing. Um, oh, okay, whatever. Well, it doesn't matter. We're just gonna go over here to the compositing. And then we're just gonna add in our movie clip as the input as soon as we activate nodes. There we go. Stupid undistort. What? Nothing? No, it's just regular distort, probably. And then we're just gonna put lens distortion. Check that out. We just put that in here and we could just. Control T to add in our viewer. No, nope. Control Shift click. That's what it is. With this, we're just gonna eyeball it and just do negative distortion until it kind of looks okay. See, that's wrong. Okay, so it actually turns out doing this thing really sucks. So here I've loaded in this 4K image I took. Um, I just took this of the wall because I was like, oh, that's a cool texture I could use someday. Um, but it's actually going to be helpful now because we know these lines in reality are supposed to be straight. All right, now we can activate this thingy and there should be numbers we can play with now. But I'm not smart enough to know where they are. Cool, I found the numbers. I don't know what these really mean. Oh, look at that. It looks kind of weird. Butterfly. I have no idea if this is good enough. Probably not. Set optical center? Sure. <coughs> not too sure what I'm doing over there, but I know that this lens distortion is a boo-boo garbage node and we should put movie distortion instead. Wait, something's wrong here. What do I, uh, do that or something? Whoa, look at that. That's funny looking. But it's not right. Okay, so this is kind of looking flatter. But let's just see when I activate the grid how messed up it actually is. Wow, that's interesting to look at, actually. If we update this. Nope, it's pretty weird looking. I'm just gonna restart because I really messed up the other one. Okay, that looks a little better, I think. This time we're not using the third variable. This is a very jank way of doing this. This is now the future where I've worked on this a bit more and also I took a massive break. So here's what we got. We fixed up the distortion here. Um, what does that even look like if I show the grid that that yeah, I don't know I really just um, Instead of using any grid image here or just any normal thing. I just put in the actual video I just kind of eyeballed it and I was like, you know what looks good enough So that's what we got going did this and I rendered out two sequences one of them being this video with the tag in it, and the other one being um, one of the ones that doesn't have the tag that I put up. At this point, we're going to open up Command Prompt and then just load in April Tools 
took a second to find the directory there. Wait, I'm done. I literally forgot how to change the directory. And now we just call the program again, give it the path, also estimate the focal length, and I messed something up. Oh, I, I misspelled. Okay, I think I actually got it to work. Anyways, when this thingy finishes, it'll give us a focal length you can put back in, and then it'll we can pick the path again, and it'll output a TXT file we can load into Blender, and it just sets up the camera track for us, pretty much. Now we can go here, import, and we get this little option. And now, if we see here, if we play this, you can see... Um, something's wrong, but... So looking at, like, on the GitHub, just looking through the issues, this guy is having the same issue where it's it's importing and it's only doing one frame. Um, that's kind of what I had going on here. It has one, just one frame of information of the location and stuff. Um, but he's saying this number at front always is like three which comes from the name of the files he put in. But normally this is supposed to be like the sequence, like the frame. I don't know, this is weird, this is old. So it's formatted a little differently. But what could be happening here in mine is that this three is putting in front, it's interpreting this as frame 30,007. So if we go to frame 30,001, which now it's making sense to set my scene frames up to 30,000. Oh! There it is, there's our tracking data. That's pretty cool. <laughs> We're just gonna move that back. So now if we go camera view. All right, well that's unfortunate. So, I mean, you can see, you can understand kind of how this works um, by seeing this, but this isn't an accurate enough solve. So this is interesting. I have loaded in the video as the background and you can see um, what, what it's doing there, you, the square going over the tracker. And we just had a little skip right there. We have missing information. Otherwise this updates frame by frame, so I'm just gonna do something really weird, which is just mess with this and just kind of line it up. At this point, I do want to do some kind of a test. Just a little monkey, monkey head, just to see how things turn out. Yeah, it's just not good. Um, he's tweaking out too much. So, I mean, just doing it with the tag is not going to work, I think. Um, at least not with the actual April Tools, like, add-on stuff. What I could do at this point is track these corners and then put my own plane there and then track the plane, a whole other process. Or I could just um, work with the footage that doesn't have the tag, which I think is what I'm going to try to do right now and just manually track it myself. And then we'll see uh, what to do from there. So we have to go back. So I think the footage just wasn't good. Um, so I'm going back. This is now like, I don't know, something like a month after, after I started. 
going back, I'm going to go for a different method where I'm just going to track it myself. No April tools, but I'm using like little tracker things I, I made and printed out. And I'll, I'll show those in a second. We're on the bike this time. So that's pretty cool. I'm really, I've been going faster, so I don't know if the wind um, is really bad on the mic. Oh, going one hand almost went off the little, the little trail here. There we are. There's way more lights on and stuff. I might just not be able to do it today. I had to use a different wall. It's 30 minutes later, it's insane. Here I am at a different wall. This hopefully, I mean, there's not really anyone here. There's some people that live behind there, but there's a trail in between, it should be fine. Way better lighting here. I've got to say, so, I mean, I might be able to do it without the trackers, but some of, I think the camera's still gonna have trouble picking up the detail. Um, I learned a few new tricks to, to hopefully make this come out better though. So we're gonna see. There's a lot of stuff that happened in between now and the last bit that I actually recorded, so I'm probably gonna have future me record something to put in between which you would have already seen. It was funny because of my whole ride. This is like quite further away from where I was before. It took a while, but the whole time I had these just kind of strapped here. It looked kind of funny. I'm surprised none of them came off, but yeah, these are the things I'm going to use to track. To explain what happened, basically, um, I'm pretty sure I showed the Suzanne test, the monkey test, um, and it was just bad. So I did some other stuff, like a whole lot of other stuff. I like tracked points uh, myself. I made an extra little like fake trackers digitally, and it was insane. And nothing really worked until I decided we're not going to use blender unfortunately for tracking so i found this program called voodoo did it for me and i ended up with something okay it's a lot better than the other stuff that i was doing so but i still i still thought maybe if i just had better footage i could still do it the way that i want just all in blender so it came out here well actually i went over there i'm pretty sure I recorded that. I went to where I, I shot the footage before. Didn't really work out. There was just actually work happening there. I, I, I wasn't gonna be able to, to do that really, you know? So I was like, okay, I'm gonna come over here. I, I know a lot of cool places where, where I could do something like this. Um, but this is, this is significantly further away. And it was even more far away from me because they closed like a different trail that that comes this way um, and also there's there's like a shortcut that I know that um, I'm going this way actually there there is a shortcut that I know um, it was through like a construction site it's been a construction site for like two years now and I showed up today and there was just a building there like a full-on building I don't know, I guess I just forgot that eventually it would be a building. Just thought it'd be a construction site forever, man. The one one problem with what I'm doing is that I can't, like, what I wanted to do over there is, remember there was the asphalt? I could put trackers down there too. It's just better if you're not, if you don't have all your trackers on just one plane. Uh, I couldn't do that here though. It's all bushes and there was bees and, stuff it sucked but it's I guess it's a better wall um, I, I, before I was recording 1080 30 this time I did a 4k 30 and I did a few different ones of 1080 60 
frames and even one that was 120 because I realized that like higher, was it shutter speed or whatever? It just helps a lot with not getting blurry stuff. And also if I end up getting like, let's say I got two seconds of good footage, all of a sudden I could just play it back at 30. And that's a whole four seconds. So, you know, learn, learn to cheat is, is the way to go here. I'm gonna go back home. Probably gonna work on this some more right now. I do think this whole project, including the video I'm making right now, if I had full time dedicated to it, I could have done it in a week. But I'm working on like 13 other things. That's an exaggeration. I only have like two other projects I'm working on right now. Didn't, re didn't record any of the coming here, going this way because I had to do some pretty crazy pro gamer moves to get here. There's one last look all the way over there. That was the wall. It's, it's really long. Um, yeah. This is now a day after I went back to record more footage of wall um and i did a lot of cool stuff and i didn't record so now i'm just gonna go and explain exactly what i did here um let's go to our motion tracking because that's what we did we tracked the trackers here you know all these little things i put up I also tracked a few points and they tracked well i think um i'm not sure i actually even needed my trackers that i printed out because this is a pretty high detail wall. You got all these little ridges and stuff, and it's lit a lot better than the other wall I was using. And this is also 4K video, so I ended up using one of the 4K30 videos that I took. My solve error here ended up being above 0.5, which isn't ideal, but it's okay considering the other stuff that I've gotten. After I tracked this here, I actually had it set to um, calculate for these numbers that we were playing with earlier um, to undistort. So if we go here and turn on the render undistorted, this is the actual exact values that it should be undistorting with, which I was way off. So that's cool. And this is also information we need because I decided that for my final video, I want it distorted and I want to distort the render layers that are, I'm gonna end up with. Here in the compositor I have like three different things going on and I'm not gonna explain them completely because um, some of the stuff is missing now. But essentially I had this thing set up. This was to undistort my video because I needed an undistorted video in order to go in and paint out the trackers. Which is kind of our little goal here for a second, right? Is painting out the trackers so you can't see them anymore. That's these, my, uh, the black and white circles. So once I had those undistorted, I can go here and load in the video here. This is the undistorted video I loaded in. I was able to put these planes in here and for rendered, yep. You can see I painted out um, the trackers themselves. These were just, I just baked the texture on to these planes here, which you might be able to see more clearly if I turn this down over here. Yeah, if you look at that, these are getting highlighted. And if we turn those off, you can see those were our, our trackers. These planes were tracked back on, and then through the compositor, I used the same distortion values to distort them. I added a feather effect to make the whole thing blend in a lot nicer. And then I ended up getting this as my result. Um, I should be showing the video over my voice right now. So here it's it's not very noticeable. So I mean it's I'm I'm totally fine with it. I'm happy. You have to kind of like look for the issues, not for too long. I'm sure if you if you pause and look around, you'll notice the problems with what I did here. But the purposes of what we're doing here. Um, the viewer would be distracted anyways by looking at 
the main the main action on the video, which is in the center. So you wouldn't you wouldn't notice this stuff. So when, once I had this set up, I was able to just put in a new plane, which for for testing purposes is just this right here. It's just um a little drawing I did a while back. We're going to after this we're going to draw a a separate a separate drawing here. So this was just as a test. So I drew that, tracked it on, distorted, all of that happens here, and this goes over our undistorted video. Wait, that's not what this is. What is... Oh, I was describing this one down here, I think. This this one in the middle was for this whole other problem I had, where the planes that I was trying to track over the trackers were getting cut off, and I had to render them at a different resolution, and then over here I had to scale them back down to fit. It was this whole thing. I'm not going to explain it. You get the basic idea. So after all that, the result is this, which is pretty dang cool. It's like exactly what we want. Um, I messed with the material. Maybe I can show the material here. Um, I messed with it so it's got like some transparency determined by a noise texture. So you end up getting that effect of, oh, it's like painted on because you can see a bit of that, that information under it. You get the texture of the wall. That's what I'm trying to say. You get the texture of the wall under it. And that's that's really cool. That's what we want. So after this, it's time to, to draw. So we're going to do that right now. So here we are in Autodesk Sketchbook. I really like using this to draw. I do like everything here. Um, that little guy that I drew and put on the wall before, I drew that here. We're just going to go through a generic process here of just, you know, whatever. The trick with these is always to make really short, fast movements, you know, because it's you want to be done with this just as quick as possible. Actually, you know, I don't like this one. I'm just going to restart. We just want to use some simple colors. Technically, you can do this in Blender with the texture, I believe it's the texture paint editor or something like that, but it doesn't really matter where you end up doing this. I think there's going to be a lot of background noise right now, so I'm not going to talk through as much of this as I would want to. It doesn't matter if you're a little messy with going outside the lines here. I'm gonna add some separate layers for a little bit of like little highlights and stuff. We're also just gonna add just for effect little drizzle. Sometimes don't go too overboard. You can actually use some other special brushes to help with this. Looks like this is the finished product. Now we just have to load this in and then render. So I spent an extra day working on the render and then um, this is just the day after, after a bit of editing that I did on the video itself. So here's the render. Um, I think it came out really well. It looks awesome, I think. Um, obviously there's still flaws, there's still quite a bit of sliding. Um, I think it's interesting to look, I'm gonna see if I can do like a little wipe between like the original and then painting out my trackers and putting on the, the little graffiti little bit there. And during this final little bit of the video, I do want to go over just like, you know, some random stuff I learned, I guess, throughout this whole thing. First thing, don't use April tools. Um, I mean, you can use April tools for something that makes sense and you're not moving your camera a whole lot and you're a lot closer to the tag itself, but for something like this, it just won't work very well. Two is don't go crazy with the footage because it just doesn't work also. Even if you're tracking it yourself and stuff, it just isn't good to be moving around the camera a lot unless you want to spend a lot of time fixing up the actual track, which I don't want to spend time doing stuff. I want to, you know, just be done with things. 
Also tripod movement is better, so just rotation instead of walking around, that just makes things a whole lot easier. If you're taking high quality image, like 4K, what I ended up using, um, you do get clearer points for tracking, but they might be blurrier. So it's kind of like a trade-off between high quality and high frame rate, kind of depends on your situation. Don't shoot in poopy lighting because it just, no, don't do it. And then in regards to the video I've been making about the process instead of the actual project itself, there is a few things that I think I learned here too. You know, I'd still care about the lighting, get the sun on my face so that it's not my shadowed side. That just looks really dumb. Um, <laughs> it's so unfortunate the whole first part of the video just looks not good because of that. So much easier also to edit a video about the process of making something during the process of making it. So like, instead of making everything and recording all the footage and then editing at the very end, it's so much nicer to just edit as I go. Me from a couple minutes in the future is also here to say, work on audio, cause it's pretty inconsistent in this video. Now in regards to stuff after this video, you know, what, what, what's next? Maybe more stuff like this. Definitely not as long, I think. Definitely some simpler stuff. Maybe, I don't know. Now that I think about it, the idea I have is a bit complicated. Stuff that requires a lot less being outside and a lot more staying in Blender. So, oh, another thing I was thinking is just, I think I spent too much time focusing on me messing with stuff in Blender. Because if I spend that much time there, it might as well be a tutorial. And that's definitely not what this is. You know, the, the how-to in the title, that's just a joke. It's not actually a tutorial. Which maybe, maybe someday I could make a tutorial on this. I think it would be much shorter because if you consider like the time in between me recording the second time, the, the, the second wall I mean, and then finishing that, that's only one day. So it's like, it's really simple. This whole, this whole like video is like, I don't know, like a month long, but it's not, the actual end product was made in like a day. So I think if I finalize that process a bit more, maybe I could just do like a quick tutorial on, on that. Pretty much just super short version of this video, I guess, and a bit more in depth um, in regards to the last part. But yeah, not sure when I'll get around to making another video. It's been fun, so I'll probably do it again. Maybe I'll make a video on some other stuff that I've been working on. I think I might upload some little clips just unlisted and throw links to that in the description. Just stuff I think is cool, just like just the final piece, you know, on its own or other in progress states. Maybe, maybe it's interesting. All right, well, I'm out of here, so uh, bye.